Welcome back uh, to the Stitch Method. Today we're going to talk about how to bake a song from scratch. And what I mean from that is just understanding how to start making melodies, work with chord progressions, uh, just like your favorite bands. Now, uh, the way we're going to do this is going to be in uh, a very simple songwriter method, um, and it's going to use a couple ingredients, so let's get down to it right away. First and foremost, we're going to write something using uh, a major scale. So we're going to pick A, all right, A major scale. So let's make sure we all know it. We have five, seven, volume, five, okay, it's five, seven, four, five, seven, four, six, seven, four, six, seven, five, seven, four, five. Now, just make sure you are familiar with that scale shape. Again, we're just going to use our major scale to write our music, okay? And that's very important because a lot of the music that we write, uh, or listen to, comes to the major scale. Uh, so a lot of Grateful Dead songs, a lot of Fish songs, you know, my favorite bands, Zeppelin songs too, a lot of stuff. This is going to be, this is not going to be bluesy, this is going to be more just like singer-songwriter or songs. Um, so here we go. So first and foremost, what we got to do is we got to learn uh, the names of the notes in this scale, just in pure numbers, all right? So you have note one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one. No, just like, and then we go back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So you want to take a couple seconds just to figure that out. Now, I do have a chart available down below in the, in the uh, description. Helps you get those numbers down so you can see it and memorize it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And you can get it two up there. If you want to, this go in order over and over again. This is spanning two octaves, so we have this two octave scale going from one to one, and then one to one. Now, um, first we're just going to write, try writing a simple melody out of this. Okay, now writing melodies, if you want to write songs, you want to play guitar, you have to learn how to do it. Now, uh, you don't have to write a melody that's amazing. You just have to write a simple melody. So let's see if I can come up with a simple melody. Let's see. Okay, so let's discover what that is. Now, if I had to discuss the numbers involved, it'd be one, two, three, four, three, two, one, five, six, five. Now, I'm not thinking about that when I'm when I'm writing it. I just played, and I'm, now I'm starting to analyze it and try to figure out what numbers we have. behind it. Now let's just talk about the chords. Right now we're just going to use the ones, fours, and fives, the most popular chords in all of music. But let's just talk about why the ones, fours, and fives. Well, A, they're the major chords in a, in a, in a key. So in the key of uh, A, we have A, D, and E. That's the one chord is A, four chord is D, five chord is E. So we have A, D, and E, and those are the three chords out of a ma the key of A major. You can play as major chords. Major chords are happy. Well, they're balanced. There's no tension. They feel good. As one of my students described that they, they sound like springtime. And if you're writing a song, chances are you want it to kind of sound good. So we're going to start with our major chords first. A quick interruption. I just went over those chords really fast, so I just want to make sure we got them, okay? Uh, a on the fifth fret, D here, bar chord, and E. That's those are the shapes we're going to be using. There we go. And volume is always important. Again, A, D, and E. I apologize for going over that so quickly. Back to the video first. All right. So now, second reason is the one, four, and five chord. Uh, if you have those three chords, somewhere within those three chords are all the notes of the major scale. Uh, for instance, oh, sorry, <laughs> the one chord is consists of the one, three, and five of the major scale. Okay, one, three, and five. The four chord is four, six, sorry, four, six, and one. If I can actually play guitar, and the five chord is five, uh, seven, and two. So within, and you don't, you don't really know that part, but in the chart below, in the chart, it has it, okay? The one chord, one, three, five, the four chord, four, six, one, and the five chord, five, seven, and two. And so I have to stare at my guitar. So the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of the major scale are somewhere within those three chords. So let's see if we can get that melody again. One, two, 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 three. All right, so if I was writing a song, I'd put a chord at the very beginning. And I feel like right there I put a chord. So this is a one, so I'm probably going to start off with the one chord, because if you look at your chart, the one in the major scale is in the one chord, the A. So I have... Now it's a three. 
and the three is in the one chord as well. So we keep on it. So you have. Okay, that's where we put the chord change. I put the chord change right there. I'll hum it again so you can hear. Now I'm doing this. There's there is some mathematics involved, but also there's some heart. All right, there's some there's some feeling here. If you're wondering why I'm not changing chords on every note in that riff, because I, I don't feel like I want to. I like the way it sounds right now, starting on the one, because that first note is the one, so the one chord. And it climbs up to the three, and the three is in that one chord. I like the way it sounds with a little ditty. But then we have this. All right, now that's a five. So the... um. Uh, yeah, five. So the five chord is going to work great on the f on that five because the five number is in the five. So that that would be an E here. So let's see. And then now that's that's a six. So that, that's a four. Uh, sorry, that's a six, and that's in the four chord. If you look at the chart below, or you know, again, if you if you figure it out, the four chord consists of four, six, and one. That's the numbers that make up the chord. So, for this note, I'm going to hit the 5, and I'm going to try hitting the 4 for this guy, and coming back to the 5 for that, let's see how it sounds, let's see, uh... I'm not sure if I like that 4 chord, but definitely, definitely the 1 and 5. Very, I know you're probably like, what just happened? But let's just look at the facts. You have a major scale consisting of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And those are the notes in the major scale. And then all I did is use the 1s, 4s, and 5s chords because A, they're happy, right? B, the 1, 4, and 5 chord, uh, they all contain um, somewhere the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. The 1 chord is 1, 3, 5. The 4 chord is a 4, 6, and 1 of the major scale put together. The 5 chord is a 5, 7, and 2. So somewhere I just said, all the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when you write a melody, you can figure out, well, I want a chord here, what note am I on, and what note, what chord has that note? So the best part about it is your original melody line that you write on the guitar, you can pull out and you can make it a vocal line. You hear that all the time, just like I was singing. become your vocals. Let's just do it one more time in the in the key of um let's do it in a different key. Let's do it in the key of, of, of B. Okay. So B major chord. B major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Again, I'm using this form major scale. We're using this shape for the one chord, this shape for the four chord, and this shape for the five chord. Okay, so one, four, and five. That's something I should have addressed earlier. But you're watching now. Okay, one, four, and five. All right, so let's see. Um, here's another melody. Let's see. Okay, so just made that up. So you have, I have, let's see. One, one, six, one. So bump, 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 bump. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. I've one, one, six, one. Uh, sorry. Something like that. That's one of my riffs. I'll, uh, I'll change it that. So one, one, six, one. So let's see. Uh, I have a one chord. So, and the four chord has the six in it. All right? So we have bum, 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 bum. So I'm going to do one, one, four, one. Uh, all right, so that has the four, three, one, three. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Now that has a two, so five. So bum, 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 bum. go I know you I hope I hope I hope no I know I hope that that made sense really just use a major scale write a melody find out where you want your chord changes 
And right now, just use your ones, fours, and fives. This is going to sound like a happy song. We have not gone into minor key. This is just learning how to write a simple song with melody and chords. Use your major scale, write the melody. Find out which chords have the melody note in it, okay? And then put that chord on top of the note in which you want to have a chord change. So start there. Start writing some stuff. Let me know how it goes. The chart below, um, will, again, will have uh, the major scale of the numbers and it'll have which chords have what. And this is movable in any key, so it's not going to be letters. We're not going to talk about letters. It's really numbers. You know, you can do it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And you have one, four, and five. You can do it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, the whole scale, and still one, four, five. And again, this is gonna sound like the Grateful Dead. This isn't this isn't how they wrote the songs necessarily, but this is how you get the sound of the Grateful Dead. Okay, hope that all made sense. Hope it wasn't too brutal. Yay. Bye. Uh.